Hello friends, it's Mrs. Bird, and we are going to be doing our phonics and phonemic awareness. Now, do you remember what letter that is? What's it called? That's the letter O. O is a vowel, so it makes two sounds. It has a short sound and a long sound. Do you remember what the short O says? The O says, ah, ah. What does the long O say? The long O says, Oh, all right, friends, we are going to be chopping some pictures. Let's listen for that short O or the long O. Ready? That bird is an ostrich. Chop ostrich. Ready? Ah, stridge. Did you hear that? Ah, 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 short O. Look at the picture underneath it. That cat is on the bench. We're going to chop on. Ready? Chop it. Aw, n. Did you hear that? Aw, aw, aw. That's the short O. Let's look at the other pictures. We have an ogre. Chop ogre. Ready? O, ger. That was the long O. It said its name. Last one. That door is open. Chop open. O, pen. Did you hear that long O? All right, friends, let's chop the beginning sound for each of these pictures. If you hear that short O, go like this. Ah, ah, ah. Ready? Porcupine. P porcupine. Nope, not what we are looking for. All right, friends, that next shape is an octagon. Chop octagon. Ready? Ah, octagon. Ah, ah, ah. That was a short O. Ah. Mini, chop mini, m, any. No, we want ah. Uh. Next, that's a picture of an office. Chop office, ready? Ah, fist, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's the short O in office. Sun, s, un, no. Dime, d, I'm, no. Nope. We found them octagon and office. Let's chop otter. Ready? Otter. What did you hear at the beginning? The letter O, A. Let's look at the beginning of each of these words. Which one has the same beginning as otter? Point to it. This one. All right, friends, now you'll notice it has two Ds, so those go together to make one sound. Let's sound it out. Ready? Ah, d, ah, d. All right, friends, let's practice punching out that ending sound. Ready? Suit. Suit. Table. Tabe. Ol. Lock, la, k, slot, sla, t, crown, crow, n, deer, d, er. Great job, friends. All right, friends, let's find that middle sound. Practice roller coastering the word with me, and if you hear ah, that letter o, ah, in the middle, Give me a thumbs up. If you hear any other middle sound, thumbs down. Ready? Kite. K I T. What do you think? Thumbs down. Cap. K A P. What do you think? Thumbs down. Cop. K A P. What do you think? Thumbs up. I heard ah. Hit, p, it. What do you think? Thumbs down. Log, l, a, g. What do you think? Yep, thumbs up. That had a in the middle. Fan, f, a, n. What do you think? Thumbs down. Just cop and log. 
Let's find the middle sound. Let's roller coaster the word mop. Ready? M, a, p, a, a. What letter says a? O. So we have an O in the middle of mop. Let's find a word that has the same middle. Let's look at the middle in each one. Can you point to which one has the same middle as mop? Great job, this one. Let's sound it out. D, a, t, dot. Dot has the same middle as mop. We're gonna be roller coastering the middle sound of these three pictures. We have to figure out which one does not belong. Which one has a different middle sound? Let's roller coaster mad. Ready? M, A, D, Fox, F, A, X, Mom, M, A, M. Which one does not belong? Mad. That has A in the middle. Fox and Mom both have A. Let's practice blending. See if you can figure out the word before I tell you. Ready? S -o -e -d. Sled. S -o -i -m. Slime. S -o -i -d. Slide. S -k -r -f. Scarf. A O scale S -k -o -p. scoop. All right, let's try blending some short O words. See if you can say it before I do. J A G jog T A P top. Up, pop. All right, let's practice sounding out some words. Some will have our short O, some will have the other vowels we've practiced. Ready? Sound it out with me. Odd, odd. T, I, P, tip. At, sat, t, up, top, m, a, m, mom. Let's stretch or segment our words so we hear each sound. You can use a real slinky or an imaginary. Ready? Pop. A, p, count it. P, a, p, three sounds in pop. Let's do bone. Ready? B, o, n, count it. B, o, n, three sounds. Did you hear that long O in bone? That had a long O. Let's do drop. Ready? D, er, a, uh, p, count it. D, er, a, uh, p, drop had four sounds. Let's try globe, stretch it. G, o, o, b, count it. G, o, o, b, four sounds in globe. Let's practice clapping and counting our syllables. Ready? Overalls. Overalls. Three. We did three claps. Broomstick. Ready? Broomstick. Two. 
shoelaces. Ready? Shoelaces. Three claps. Milkshake. Ready? Milkshake. Two. Starfish. Starfish. Two. Great job. All right, friends, let's practice substituting or changing our beginning sound to make a new word. Ready? Say two. Two. Change t to z. Zoo. Say, say. Say. Change s to w. Way. Say we. Change w to m. Me. Say my. Change m to s. Sai. Say lie. Change l to t. Tie. Now let's add a beginning sound. Say O. O. Add M to the beginning. Mo. Say I. I. Add H. Hi. Say A. Add W. Way. Say U. Add G. Goo. Say E. Add B. B. All right, let's delete or get rid of the beginning sound. Say bend, bend, get rid of the b, what's left? End. Say reach, reach, get rid of the er, each. Say beast, get rid of the b, east. Say dime, get rid of the d, I'm. All right, friends, we're gonna practice our sequencing. Remember, sequencing means we're putting them in the correct order. We're thinking about what would really happen first, next, or last. So let's look at these three pictures. They tell a story about blowing up a balloon. They show what happened first, what happened next, and what happened last, but they are all out of order. We need to draw a circle around the picture that shows what happened last. Which would happen last? Let's look at each picture. In this first picture, he blew up the balloon and look, it busted. Let's look at this one. In this picture, that balloon is flat. It doesn't look like he's even started blowing. And then in this picture, he has started blowing the balloon. It's about a little bit filled up. So, which one would happen last at the end? That's what we need to figure out. This one, very good. At the very end of the story, he blew up the balloon and it busted. This would have to happen last. If this was first, then the balloons over here would have a big rip in it. They would be busted. Let's see if we can figure out the order for all of them though. Which one do you think would happen first? This one, very good. This is number one because it's not even blown up yet. Which would happen next? Very good, next he starts blowing it up. And what happened last? Third, he blew it up so much that it busted. Great job. Let's practice our sight word. Read it with me, ready? R, clap it. A, R, E, R. Punch it. A, R, E, R. Write it. A, R, E, R. Let's practice reading with our sight word R. Now I will tell you, these words at the end are pretty tricky. Let's make sure we use the picture and that beginning sound. Let's use our eagle eye to figure it out. Ready? You are on a hike. I see she has a walking stick and her backpack. So she's on a hike. Let's look at this next one, ready? Read it with me. You are late. Look, she has her watch on. She's upset because she is late. Let's read this one, ready? 
We are in the castle. We are at the lake. Wonderful job, friends. Always make sure you look at that beginning sound and use the picture to figure out what that word is.